Bitcoin on Wednesday, March 17th. These FIB lines are clearly still in play. We got um, a second breakdown on the 06 retracement. Uh, I formed a new channel here on the four hours. This looks like another uh, bear flag forming. Uh, when you have an ascending pattern in a, in a range like this and it's moving upward, while the average price seems to be moving downward, as we can see here in the simple moving averages, starting to curve down on the, the 50 indicator. Still not quite rolled over, but uh, does look like a, a bear flag formation. We did get a bottom out here on the <clears throat> Stotch RSI, which we would always expect to get some kind of bounce off of. So we could move back up out of this channel and continue upwards in the towards this trend line. But let's let's keep an eye on what happens today. If we get a third touch, so we always look for this three touch pattern. We also are also on the bear side here on the uh, this is the uh, the MACD here. So above the this oscillator above the zero point is and looking for a possible move down to the next fib target level of about 5200 bullish the oscillator below is bearish and the sma averages here that correspond are also on the bear side so i do look at this as still in a bearish trend these targets are all in place since we broke this this channel, we already broke below this channel twice, so this channel is sort of out of play right now. This this very bullish trend is now looking a bit more bearish. Of course, the long-term trend here on these outer lines is still still bullish, but in the short midterm, we're looking for some more downside plays here. So uh, I would look to go short on on Bitcoin, especially if we get a break through this four-hour channel. We would definitely look at a target of this 52.4 or 52.5 level and then probably get some kind of bounces up off of that, maybe back to this FIB level and then a possible uh, move back down to this support level here of the 5200 range. This will show some support if we get it because you can see we have a lot of tops here. Uh, this 52 will probably bounce up before we get uh, any move down towards this FIB level. So that's my short-term price prediction. And I hope you find this helpful. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will also post a link to my open Facebook group, which you can join. Uh, we have weekly discussions on Sunday evenings for those who are new to crypto and want to learn more. Thank you.